we have shifted from 3D to higher dimensions. This can create some stress, as it is so new and unfamiliar that we don't know how to be. It takes faith and staying in the moment, so your next steps may be revealed through your feeling into each moment. You can't do this intellectually, for that is the way we used to do things. You must rely on your feelings as to what to do next. Remind yourself that fear is an illusion, so be courageous. Courage comes from the root word cur, which is French for heart, so being courageous means being heart-centered. Withdraw your energy from the disasters of the old world and focus on your own divinity. Know that as big as your fear seems, the bigger is your leap into the new, so move through the illusion of fear so it may transform. To let go of any boxes, such as a belief in timelines. Timelines are illusions. Anything that has a label, every noun limits, and like being in a box, you get stuck. Remind yourself that in the new, you are free. In the new, you will have memories, only your memories have no charge, if you are clear. If there is a charge when you revisit something, it indicates that you are still holding on to that event emotionally. Continue to visit it till you notice you no longer have energy around that event or person. As long as you are attached to the memory, you are not free. If your energy is still connected to an old event or a person, it can manifest anxiety, shame, physical malignment and emotional pain. When you clear the event or person, you free yourself of these old energies. There has been another dissension and integration of both the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. This is essential, as one without the other is incomplete. The Divine Feminine creates, the Divine Masculine manifests, serving the Divine Feminine. There are a few things to facilitate this, one is go to your sacred space, your heart, and call forth both. Create a sacred marriage. Another is to visualize a vesica piscis and place one foot in one section and then the other foot in the other section and then bring both feet to the center. The vesica piscis is a symbol made from two circles that intersect, creating a space between the two. You can do both, as I often do. Both of these exercises call forth Source, your divinity, and helps you truly realize that you are never separate from Source. The kingdom is not outside of you, it is indwelling, it creates heaven on earth through you, ascension. In doing these exercises, you enter Anthropos, being fully realized. You find your true self and become who you are meant to be. Open your eyes to being divine, be love expressed, so that you may fulfill your destiny. Most live in slumber, awaken all of you. We have compassion for those who have chosen to stay in the old, yet we cannot rescue them. We no longer are part of the old, in truth. We can compassionately, without attaching to results, love others and those parts of us that have not yet awakened. This is not sending love, but rather being love. By being fully awakened, we experience bliss, no matter what is going on in our lives. We have let go of the drama and attachments of 3D dualistic life. The light downloads we are receiving move us through all dimensions. So much is deactivated and activated. For instance, our DNA is upgraded, as are our cells and chakras, while at the same time, much of our programming is transformed to love. Our physical body experiences this, at least it is the physical body we are most attuned to. Some manifestations we might experience, based on where each one is in their ascension, are tingling, aching, temperature changes, sometimes hot, sometimes cold, ear issues, these can be more acute hearing, ear popping or buzzing or a constant sound, fuzzy eyes, a need to stretch, body vibrations, feeling unbalanced, either listing to the left or right or beginning to fall over feeling confused or unclear, and many others. Of course, there may be a continuation or a return of some physical adjustments like wanting to be alone, a change in diet, not eating much or eating a lot, as well as shifting away from sugar, flour and other things. 
Awareness continues to expand and there is a tendency to follow your intuition and not ignore any of it. These are just some of what you might experience and yet, there are probably more ways you are manifesting the shift from the old matrix to being new. You need not wonder why people stare at you or smile, simply accept, they are seeing or feeling your light without knowing why they are staring or smiling. Note too that everything fluctuates. You may feel very grounded and centered one day and not the next day. Last night, I nearly fell over and felt very strange afterward. However it is occurring for you, just let it be. The old matrix no longer belongs in your life, it holds you in low energies. As you travel amongst the higher dimensions, there is more freedom and more choices and you integrate more of your multidimensionality. Do you understand that? Multidimensionality is the freedom to gather the higher energies, integrating them within you. Each dimension has its own consciousness and as you flow with this, your consciousness rises as you integrate the higher energies, so your life shifts higher and is more encompassing. This may sound esoteric, so don't try to understand it with your intellect, feel it in your heart. Move beyond timelines, for they are limiting, for as I have shared, there are no timelines, for you cannot be placed in a box of limitations. As the old matrix completely dissolves, old karma and old rules do as well. Your programs, beliefs and patterns, also dissolve. While some of you experience this, there are others who are still very attached to the old matrix, it is comfortable and what you have known for many lifetimes, only it is not where you belong. In time, you will tire of your comfort zone and want something brand new. This is your opportunity. The new is not predictable, nor can it be controlled. It requires being in the moment in complete trust that you create whatever you hold within, your thoughts, feelings and consciousness, the degree in which you absolutely know that you are divine. Simplifying your life and not being a victim of any perceived time constraints frees you more from the matrix. If you think you can't change anything in your life, it isn't true. The matrix controls you and all in your life. At any time you can create something new and different. Nothing new is created in your intellect. You must be in the moment and follow your guidance, your intuition. Are you willing to do this? In the new, there is no struggle. If you struggle, you are in resistance to what wants to shift. Instead, be gentle and loving with yourself. Drop your self-judgment and simply observe your thoughts, for you are not your thoughts. This aligns you with the flow and in the flow there is a gentle and loving path forward. The flow is source. It doesn't pull or push, it allows. When in the flow, you see that all is easy and you are taken care of, for you are love. There is no fixing, controlling, or figuring out. There is only being and expanding. There is no looking for or seeking a solution, for it is already within you. Trust this. Ground this new time. How? By having your complete focus be on who you are, divine. Source, Soul. Let go of comparing your life to another or to your past. In the new, there is no separation and therefore, no comparisons, which separate. Rejoice in your life and in the lives of all others. If you find yourself slipping back into duality, simply notice it without judgment and then adjust where you want your attention to be, for where you put your focus is what is manifest.